It's called Global Positioning System, better known as GPS. And tell me, how in the world can GPS know where Paul Strand is at any moment in time? And when Paul Strand needs to go to the senior citizen's place, or when he needs to go to this downtown church to do a wedding, when he needs to go anywhere, how can he speak into his phone and say, give me directions to so-and-so? And within seconds, within a second, the direction is already there. How can this thing know where I'm at? And how can it be that 30 satellites floating around planet Earth and the GPS part of my phone sends a signal up there and four of those 30 satellites decide exactly where I am and where I'm going and they let me know the answer. How can that happen in a single moment of time? How can it happen even if it took an hour for them to figure it out, let alone one second? How in the world does that happen? That's science fiction, right? That doesn't really happen, right? It happens all the time. And with 7.8 billion people on this planet, at the same moment in time, that GPS system can tell any person who has that phone and that device how they get to the next village. How does that happen? I remember when I was taking confirmation classes with my dad in Jasper, Minnesota, I said, how can God be omnipresent? How can he be everywhere at the same moment in time? And I've struggled with that forever. How can God know? And when this GPS system became a part of my life, all of a sudden that light bulb went off. If 30 satellites up there know where I am, do I have any difficulty believing that the God who created everything, he knows exactly where I am at any moment in time? School, work, metro train, neighborhood, doctor's office, therapist's office, he knows. Does that make me nervous? Shouldn't. God knowing where I am should be the most peaceful moment I have every single day. God knows where I am and he knows where you are. Be at peace. In his name, amen.